Hi everyone, this is a collaboration with my YouTube friend Sugar Coder. I'm going to be making this cute little teddy bear topper. Sugar Coder is then going to make these adorable cupcakes for them to sit on. So do be sure to pop over to Sugar Coder's channel and subscribe. I'll post links to the video in the description box below and on the screen at the end of this video. So I'm starting with some white, in fact mine's slightly pale grey, but you can use white or whatever colour you want for a base. And I'm just using a little cookie cutter to cut. And this is modelling paste that I was using, by the way, sorry, not fondant. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on a piece of greaseproof paper so that it doesn't get stuck to the board. Or you can just put a bit of corn flour down. And we're just going to, with a cocktail stick, poke little holes in. Wiggle them around a bit if you want them to be a bit bigger. And we'll do this all the way around. And I've mixed a nice deep pink that we're going to make a strawberry with. So we'll start with a circle and we'll roll it slightly at one side so it becomes a little bit more cone shaped. So it looks more strawberry shaped now. But what we're going to do is at the top of it we're going to push an indentation in with our finger so it becomes a bit more Valentine's egg because we're going to make it a little bit more heart shaped. And then what we're going to do is using the bottom end of our paintbrush we're just going to poke in little holes, sort of pressing on kind of sideways rather than going in straight down, going at an angle. And these will be where we put our little pips or seeds, not pips. We'll do this all the way around. And then you want a little bit of yellow. Again, all this in modelling paste. If you want to use fondant, you can do. And I'm going to roll really tiny little yellow dots. And we're just going to push those in the top end of each of those marks that we've made. If it's not sticking, just use a little bit of water to stick it in place. And do that till it's fully covered. So I'm taking a rose calyx, if that's how you say it, cutter, and we're just gonna make a little bit of greenery for our strawberry. So we'll roll it out, and we're gonna cut that out like that. And all we're gonna do is stick a little bit of water on the top of here, and we're gonna give that a push onto the top, like so. Just push it down in the middle and then you can position it around to wherever you want. You might want it to stick up or you might want it to come down. And I'll just roll a tiny little stem, so just a little teardrop, and we'll just push that into the little hole that we created at the top there. So I've rolled some light brown for the body. Starting with a ball, I'm going to roll it to make it a little bit longer. I'm going to curve it round like that and I'm just going to push that then onto my little base. So it looks like a little bean, I think, at the moment. And then what I'm going to do is stick my heart then on top of my body so that it looks like that. And we're going to break them off a ball for the head. I'm going to make it slightly oval in shape. And I'm just going to roll a little seam up the centre of his face. Just a tiny little bit for his nose. And I'm going to poke in two little eye holes in my cocktail stick. And so for the ears, we'll roll a circle, squash it a little bit. And then we'll just cut that in half and then use each semicircle on the side of his head. And rather than black, I think I'll go with a dark brown for his nose. So we'll just roll a little oval in brown and stick that onto the top of his nose. If it doesn't stick, just put a bit of water on there. We want to now give him some little legs. So we're just going to roll. So it's a bit thinner at one end, a bit thicker at the other. And just push that little end up. And then you can run. A little stitch into a line. And then I'll move it to the side so you can see. I'll try not to squash it. We'll just attach that then. Pushing that on. Try not to squash it too much. To his body like that. And you can do the same at the back, giving him one at the other side. And then we'll give him a front arm as well. We'll make this a little bit smaller than the back leg. And we'll just roll this one. And I'm just going to roll a little stitching line down the middle. Okay, and we're going to pick this up and we're going to add it near the top of his body. Like that. So repeat the same on the other side. So create two circles of black for the eyes. And we'll just pop those into the eye sockets. Got 
those in there like that and then we're going to stick that onto the body just under the strawberry like that so there's our little cake topper made I'm just going to let that set now and then these are going to be put on some little cupcakes for making the cupcakes if you pop over to Sugar Coder's page and she'll show you how to make some really nice cupcakes ready for Valentine's thank you for watching if you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.